What's up guys, we're going to be looking at a song called Bubbly today. This is a great song, right? Just have the capo on fret 2 for this one. Um, we don't have many chords, it's really simple stuff like G, C, back to G. Really simple, alright? Um, I'm going to show you how to do the finger picking, the strumming, verse, chorus, and then we're going to look at the bridge, because the bridge is different in this song, okay? So, the first thing we have is this intro, which we can use for the verse, right? So it sounds like this. Right, that's the first bit. So we have at the top. Alright. So what I want you to do is get your G chord ready. If you don't know how to play this chord, look at the diagram. We got middle finger third fret, first finger second fret. Open D, open G, and then a third finger, third fret on the B string, fourth finger, third fret on the E string. Now we're gonna pick with our plectrum, pick the bass note. All right, and then with the other three, we're gonna pluck the rest. Okay, so pluck with your middle finger, D string, with the third finger. G string, fourth finger is going to be the B string. And you can kind of, you can cut it off by putting the fingers back in play. So what? You hear like how I cut it off? Right? So the first one is just G. Okay, but we're going to play. So we, we have the third finger on for the first strum and then you take it off for the second one, watch. Right, and then you can, you can hit the G string if you want to. I tend to do that. You can do that with your third finger or you can pick it. Now, all we do for the second chord is still G major, but with F sharp in the bass. All right, so what you do is instead of third, uh, instead of second finger on the third fret, have your first finger on the second fret. Okay, and you're still gonna pick the E string, and you're still gonna pluck the same as before. All right, so. But this time, keep it down for both. Keep that third finger down for both plucks, right? So, bum, 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 bum. then we go to C, bum, bum. and then back to G again with the third finger off. So if you don't know how to play C, okay, you just want to have your third finger on the A string third fret. Middle finger is on the D string second fret. We have open G, first finger, first fret, open E. And you can bring your thumb down just to, to block that really low E string down there. Okay. And again, pick the bass note, so pick the A string for this chord. And then you pluck the same as before, D, G, and B string. Now, remember the last one is G, but take the third finger off. So all together, I've been awake for a while now, you got me feeling like a child now. Cause every time I see your bubbly face Give me tingles in the silly place Dots in my toes makes me crinkle Now there's a few ways we can play this chorus Alright, so the first way is nice and simple You're just gonna strum uh, down, up, 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 down, so watch
right nice and simple okay so that's the first option just down up down up down up down up down up right sometimes this is what I like to do as a second option I kind of go you see how I'm kind of picking a few there picking a few notes so You can always just do the bass note, then the D string, and then do up on the B and the G string. That works with every chord, so. Obviously for C, make sure you play the, the A string for the bass note. Now, you'll notice that I'm playing the C chord differently, right? Right, for those of you that want to kickstart your guitar learning abilities so that you can perform one day, potentially make money and travel playing the guitar just like me, then click the link in the description, also in the comment section, and sign up to my premium lessons on my website, all right? And we'll get you started right away learning the guitar for real. So for this version, it's just C add nine. So it's the same as G. But these two fingers need to just move down, okay, to the A in the D string. Now it's C add nine. So this is replacing C major. Now we have C add nine, okay? Because here we have the note D, which is the ninth note in the scale of C. Therefore, it's C add nine. All right. So that's the main part of the song, guys. You'll notice that this is quite a repetitive song. So. We just have verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse. But there is a bridge. So the bridge for this song is really nice. We have G major seven with B in the bass. What am I gonna say to C? When you make me feel this way, I'll just say, where I start to my toes makes me crank on my into a chorus, right? So let's start with this shape. So this is G major seven with B in the bass, all right? So instead of G in the bass, we have B in the bass. That's why it says slash B, all right? So start with these three fingers. Okay, this is like G major triad right here. So you've got fourth finger, uh, fifth fret from the capo, uh, or just seventh fret in general. All right, then third finger on the G string. That's on the D string, by the way. A third finger is on the G string. A fourth fret from the capo. One, two, three, four. Should be in between the dots. Then you got your middle finger here. Third fret from capo on B string. Now you're gonna have to lower your wrist, stretch your first finger across like that, and bar down the whole thing. Okay, that's quite tricky. And the strumming is just Just because it sounds good in the bridge, add your fourth finger here to the third fret if you want to. You don't have to, but I think it works well with You get that nice movement. All right. So simple down, 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 down. So let me just explain like how long each chord lasts for, right? So we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Two, three, it starts in my Then after the chorus, we have another intro. All right, then we have another verse, another chorus. Then for the outro, it's still the same chords, but it just kind of slows down. Wherever, wherever, wherever you go. Wherever, wherever you go. 
Okay, so all I'm doing is. So the, the ordering of the way I'm kind of picking this, you can do it any way you like really, but. I go pick, middle, third, middle, then fourth, third, second, third. And then, so, join together. Alright guys, that's it for this song. I hope that it was okay, it wasn't too tricky. Um, I remember learning this song, this was one of the first songs I ever learned on the guitar, because it's just, it sounds nice. You can sing along to it quietly. Um, the chords are fairly simple and just very repetitive. So just really spend some time working on those the finger picking, you know, just get it nice and tidy and then start trying to play along and sing along. Alright, see you in the next lesson guys.